now we saw that Lee Shadler's principle is reflective of a very very normal kind of process that keeps on taking in our environment and that is anything that you do the system will oppose you fine and that's how it'll it'll move so what happens suppose you are suppose you have added some substance okay so concentration can change in two ways suppose it's a gaseous thing or you have added something so as to increase the concentration what will happen it will what will the reaction try to do it will try to reduce your concentration to where it was so what will it do it will start consuming that substance no if it consumes that then its concentration starts going down correct so what happens in a sense if a substance is added if a substance is added then the reaction then the reaction moves in a direction in a direction which it moves in a direction in which that substance is consumed understand okay <clears throat> similarly if a substance is removed if a substance is removed then the reaction moves in a direction in which that substance is produced okay <clears throat> now let us try to to come back to an example which we have which we have been doing say hydrogen and iodine giving you hydrogen iodide all gases right all gases and let us say they had settled for an equilibrium so so they were under equilibrium with different concentrations till this point right where suddenly i decide to add h2 okay okay so so maybe maybe h2 was at this concentration and my i2 this was the concentration this was the concentration of i2 and they had settled that means they had settled somewhere and this is <coughs> this is hi so they were a constant in such a manner that the kc for this reaction whatever that kc was that was fulfilled at a particular temperature of course this is the concentration you see this is the concentration of various entities h2 i2 hi now you suddenly you suddenly add some hydrogen gas into it now what happens what happens it will try to move in this direction why because it will it will try to consume that hydrogen that you have added understand it will try to consume that hydrogen now if it wants to consume that hydrogen then maybe after some time hydrogen settles to this point now what happens to this this i2 will get consumed if the if the direction tends to move in a forward direction it consumes i2 
so what happens can i2 will decrease a bit <clears throat> no what happens to hi hi will increase a bit okay so this is my my hi this is hi concentration this is i2 concentration this is h2 concentration and that's how it goes okay this is where the disturbance was introduced here h2 was added okay you understand now obviously it will not be the concentrations will not settle back to these but again they change in such a manner that that this remains the same they'll change so what has happened hi has increased and h2 h2 has increased so i2 will have to go down that much so that it compensates for all those increases squared and and decreases right so that it again falls back to the same point What? And HI is also increasing. HI, HI has increased. So, so, and H2 has, H2 has gone up to this level, right? It has increased. Mm -hmm. And I2 has decreased. So, this increase will, will balance out both. So, that it falls to KC. What about the increase in HI? That's what I'm saying. This is HI squared, right? So, now this is a bigger value. Mm -hmm. This is a smaller value. I2, I2 gets consumed in the process. So it goes down. Now the impact of this and this, H2 does not fall back to where it was. Okay. H2 is being consumed, yes. This got consumed a bit and settled at a value that was higher than the earlier value. That is what. I am not saying it has fallen back to the same value. It is not there. It has to adjust itself at such a point so that that kc becomes equal this increased h2 actually balances for this this uh, the the impact of decrease from here balances for for that right okay fine okay do we get the point what would have happened if you had added maybe hi so adding h2 adding h2 does what adding hydrogen gas does what decreases i2 increases hi and okay and H2 settles at a higher value than the previous, higher value than the previous concentration, this H2. Previous concentration. Okay. Adding I2 will have almost the same kind of effect. Right? Again, the reaction will move in the forward direction so as to consume more of I2. Adding HI will do what? So, so this, this actually favors forward reaction, right? Forward reaction. How about adding HI? adding hi it does what it will if you suddenly add hi then it will get consumed and the reverse reaction will be favored so so h2 it it will increase h2 it will increase i2 it will it will it will now hi higher than previous 
higher than previous so reverse reaction is favorable okay correct understood what if i remove hi what if i remove hi forward forward it'll try to to make more hi right so removing hi what happens h2 decreases i2 decreases hi hi lower than the previous lower than the previous hi lower than the previous concentration forward reaction is favored get the point but everything will happen just in such a manner that 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 if you if you if you calculate this in the end after the new equilibrium has been established it will give you kc okay that is very very important fine so we understand that okay you can you can actually understand it this way also that if you if you take that reaction quotient H I square upon H H two I two. Suddenly, what we did? Suddenly, we added H two. So you added H two. You added H two. So this went down. Correct. The value of Q went down suddenly. Q is normally used when you are not at equilibrium. So what happened? This this value. value went up so so this value went down now it will it will try to seek it will try to seek that kc it it wants to increase how does it increase by decreasing i2 or increasing hi and that's what it does right both. yes it does both it does both that's what it does okay same with same with this if you if you increase h2 if you uh, if you if you add hi if you add hi this goes up this goes up h2 has to increase so h2 has to increase i2 has to increase okay and in the process since since this this is more so that reduces from what the value was so this reduces a bit these two increase right so all the factors suddenly come into play you remove hi you remove hi so this goes down suddenly so from there this will try to settle to a higher value than what it was so as to increase this and these two people decrease okay these two decrease fine so mathematically it is that otherwise from lee shatt layers we know in what direction we will will move forward fine okay